Hello YouTube, in this episode we're going to continue making our motor mounts. see that there you go so I've pushed on the paper for four bolt hole locations now we're going to transfer that to a piece of plate steel all right so let's talk about uh, our setup here this is a motor mount for 4.6 liter uh, three valve that came out of the car okay that is the motor mount for this so what did we do well we followed this goes in like this up against the engine okay then the perch comes down and then it, there's another angle going this way so it sits down on the perch itself okay so first thing we did was we said let's get a bevel this is a bevel okay and what this does is this gives you an infinite amount of angles that you could possibly have okay so we put it up against here we lined it up with this angle here okay so this angle going up against the block and lined it up against this angle here okay that's the first angle all right we then turned it into a cardboard mock-up all right, so here is our cardboard template mock-up that we did. On the 5.4 liter, though, there are extra holes of where these are going to line up, okay, as opposed to where they line up on the 4.6. I then started to mock it up in steel, okay. This is uh, 1 8 plate steel, all right, or box steel, should I say. Uh, so I started to do that and this thing is becoming very heavy this is aluminum so it's much lighter than this okay this is definitely very strong okay um, but this is lighter so I said that's not gonna work the perches don't line up anyways okay so what we have to do because of where this engine sits in that car this motor mount is not going to work regardless so what we have to do is we have to start from scratch 
and make something different. All right. So I said, all right, we're gonna make it smaller. Okay. We have to make it thi uh, heavy. So this is eight thick plate steel again. Okay. And but it has to be much lighter. All right. This. Okay. Is now lighter than this piece of aluminum. All right, so what we have to do now is we take this, that's why we used our piece of paper, and we lined up our holes to cut out our holes, okay? And now we're going to make a plate, okay? We're gonna make a plate, and then what'll happen is that this will sit right there in the middle of the plate. Okay, and then this angle here, once that plate's on here, okay, this angle will then be proper for the perch it to sit down in the motor mount in the engine bay. Okay, and that's how we did this. Basic gist of it, you start with what you, what, what you want to mock up, cardboard, paper, whatever you think you, that you can sit there and you can make out of this to help you make your design okay first one fifth one sixth one seventh one doesn't matter make as many as you need to make before you actually make the original the, the fit make the the end results okay take your time all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this out transfer it to a piece of steel and then we'll cut that out, drill a hole, hold it up, we'll try it, see how it fits. Take this, I'm going to weld it to that. And that plate will then go up against the, trans the, the transmission. Do you hear me? That plate will then go up against the engine, like that. And then it will sit on the perch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through here so I can line up the perch with this and then this will go all the way through there'll be a sleeve in there okay i'll probably use maybe a three-quarter bolt like this okay and then that will go through here and that will line up on the perch the plate will go on and that will show us exactly where this is supposed to get welded so let me go cut this a hole in this and I'll be back. Alright, so there's the motor mount, right? Right there, that's the motor mount that we made. And try to reach in there, but there's the plate that we have. And I just have the plate just hanging out. It's not bolted down, but it lines up with the bolts. 
So now what I have to do is I'm going to mark this with the marker on this side and that side. It's going to go up to the top of the plate, as you can see right there. But you can also see that there's a big gap in the back. Now that's just because the weight of the engine is leaning on this and this is being tilted out this way. It's being kicked out because it's not welded in place. So once we weld it in place, that will then tilt the engine where it's supposed to be. Because if you look, I didn't put a level on it, but if you look, you can see that the engine is slightly cocked down this way. So it has to come up just slightly, and then that'll be the same height as that mount. So I'm going to mark this here, and then we can weld that up. See if I can get in here. Mark this. All right, I'm gonna have to move you guys because I can't do get in here for you to see it and mark it. All right, the one thing that you have to consider is that the engine is also on a five degree tilt. So from front to back, from front to back, the engine is on a, on a slight tilt. Okay, it's five degrees. All right. So when you put this in, okay, this is up against your engine plate like this. Okay. Now if we welded this straight up and down, what would happen is that once our plate is welded to the is welded like this, we bolt it up to the engine. Now it's sitting, or actually it's sitting like this, because our engine is sitting uh, five degrees in the down position. So we have to turn this slightly so it lines up. That's why when I drew the line here, okay, you'll see that that's on a slight angle. Because the engine is on a slight angle. Okay? So you want to remember that when you're putting your stuff together. So I'm going to put this in and tack this up. If T was here, he'd do a better job. But unfortunately, I don't have T, so I'll have to do the best that I can.
motor mount is done. Have a look in there. Uh, there it is. Sorry about the crazy angle of the camera. But there's the motor mount finished. Ready to get bolted down. Alright, now once we gotta do is do the other side. So now this motor mount we're gonna have to redo because there's only two bolts that are catching the engine. So we can start working on this one next. But in the meantime, there it is. Engine is sitting level like it's supposed to. We have plenty of room between the sway bar and the harmonic balancer. There's plenty of room for the oil pan. The only drawback is I'm going to have to remove my pressure gauge for the fuel regulator and move it so I can read it. T didn't really want that there anyways. He wanted uh, one inside the car. So I'm going to have to work on that. Also, the paint scheme is going to change. T does not like this color anymore because the color of the car, as you know, is different. This is actually the base coat for the candy coat. The car was actually supposed to be this color. And T changed his mind. We appreciate all your comments. Like and subscribe. That helps us a lot, means a lot to us, and we're trying to get out some good content that you can learn from, maybe, or just entertainment. And we thanks again. We appreciate it.